Eastern Connecticut expected to get the most snow in the storm, possibly up to two feet. Blizzard conditions are prompting towns to prepare for the worst there. News 8's Tina Detail continues our team coverage in Willimantic, which could be among the hardest hit. These plows are ready to roll. We're treating this like it's a, a hurricane. That's because the blizzard conditions are expected to bring high winds along with the high snow totals. Wyndham will keep its no freeze shelter open day and night and is enforcing its parking ban so these guys can keep the streets clear. Um, we've got 84 miles of roads in the town of Wyndham that our public works takes care of. Folks are doing a lot of their own preparing, making sure they have enough gas to last throughout the storm and even getting their laundry done. What would it have been like to pull that in the snow? <laughs> Probably going to be more difficult than anything to, uh, to do that. News 8 meteorologists are predicting the quiet corner will feel the loudest effects of this storm. So we checked in with these folks who are a little camera shy, but also know a little bit about predictions. Do you have any insight as to whether or not we're really going to see that much snow up here? I do feel as though it is going to be up to one to two feet, but I don't feel any higher than that. I Cafe Mantic plans to stay open through the storm for anyone who dares to venture out in it. Hot chocolate during a snowstorm is perfect. Marshmallows on top, it's the way to go. Speaking of chocolate, this weekend is the annual chocolate festival here in Willimantic, and folks are a little concerned that the snow may stop people from going to the local businesses, no matter how perfect this is during a storm. One more reminder, if you lose power, call CLNP. Don't assume it knows. In Willimantic, Tina Detail, News 8.